description. I, I've never was, heard that description. Have you not, that was a man called Alan Corran who writes about, uh, about television for the Times, the London Times. And in fact, he's a fan. You'll be well, delighted to know. But that's hysterical because uh, I knew that I had gotten old one day when I realized that I could no longer try out for the Los Angeles Rams football team as a quarterback. It was, uh, that was our football. And that's, that's really funny. I'd never heard that statement you know. before. This, this, let's talk a little bit about this movie because um, it's had remarkable success already. It's taken something like three or four million dollars already in New York. Oh, the, no, that's uh, two days old. Two days old. <laughs> it's, it is, at this moment as we speak, it is outgrossed uh, any movie in the history of cinema. It is, at this point, the largest grossing movie in uh, cinema history. Why? I'd like to think that, uh, that there's something uh, magical about its appeal, other than just to uh, the people who love the series, I think there is something about Star Trek that I don't know what it is that is universal and is calling the people to come and see it. It's uh, the picture to see this year. Can I, can I just put a point to you that uh, Time magazine made about it, about Please. its appeal, about the appeal generally of Star mm -hmm. Trek and the movie, uh, which is quite extraordinary. It said, on TV, Star Trek was the final flare-up of the John F. Kennedy era. The crew of the Starship Enterprise formed a cosmic Camelot, hmm. carrying a benevolent imperialism into the last new frontier, outer space. Sounds British, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> As played by William Shatner, Captain James Kirk had the looks and self-assurance of John Kennedy, and even the name of Mr. Spock echoed that of Dr. Spock, another hero of the pre-Watergate liberal consensus. In part, the idolizing of Star Trek may be a nostalgia for the image of the self-confident, generous, but ready to fight America. Now, if you understand that, do you agree with us? <laughs> <laughs> I do understand it, and I, I think there's a great deal uh, of truth in it, yeah. Mm.